Hello YouTube chess lovers and my friends, this is Gunjan here. Welcome to the 17th episode of my chess trap series. In the recent World Rapid and Blitz Championship, London System was one of the most popular preferred choice by many super GMs including Magnus Carlsen. Due to its easy piece layout, rock solid structure and clear middle game plans, this opening reached to the new heights and a great popularity boom. So that's why it's very important for you to have a good line against it. Now the line I'm going to recommend in this video not only contain a good trap but it is one of the most preferable choice of the black and the good point is even though if your opponent doesn't fall for the trap you still obtain a very good position with all the winning chances in the middle game. The London system arises after the following order, white plays d4. Now whether here you are playing knight to f6 or d5 doesn't matter. Let's say in this game black start with the move knight to f6, knight to f3 and after the move d5 and bishop to f4 we reach the starting point of the London system. Now in this game black immediately played c5 but my original recommendation is you should always play the move e6 first before committing the c5 because we want to avoid any other complications. Okay, c5, e3, knight to c6, c3 and only now black plays the move e6. So giving protection to the c5 square, white continue with the move knight b to d2 and black plays the move bishop to d6. The main line continue with the move bishop to g3 so in case black capture the g3 bishop then white will recapture with the h pawn and in that case the h file will open up for the white rook. So it's very obvious that black shouldn't take that bishop and instead of that he should castle on the king side. White plays bishop to d3 and now we reach one of the most critical position of the game. Now as I have highlighted over here Black's main choice are b6 and queen to e7 but I'm not going to recommend any of them. Instead of that, I'm going to recommend a very tricky move, rook to e8. And immediately white needs to be careful and has to play the accurate move knight to e5. In my own blitz games, I have seen even some high rank players are not paying attention and they are routinely castle at this point. But I think this is already a mistake because black can capture this bishop and after h captures black can achieve this freeing break e5 which not only give him the center but also provide great attacking potential. Now just to highlight the problems in the white game I like to show you my quickest win in this line where here my opponent decided to capture the e5 pawn I recapture with my knight. And now he take this knight in order to get a tempo on the rook with the move knight to f3. Okay, I played bishop to g4, so pinning that knight. My opponent plays bishop to e2, renewing the threat. And I place my rook to the most aggressive square, rook to h5. Seeing the king side attack is looming, my opponent tried to exchange some pieces. So he played knight to d2, hitting the bishop. I take this bishop and after queen captures, I played a very cunning queen transition move which start with the following move order that is queen to b6 hitting the b2. My opponent defended with the move rook to b1. Now I played queen to e6. So my idea is to play d4 as that queen is unprotected. So my opponent give the support with the move rook to e1. But then black reveal his original idea, knight to g4. And now I think there is no stopping on queen to h6. In chess, if you create mating threats, then sometimes your opponent really panics and made mistakes. And this is exactly happened over here. Because my opponent was already feeling uncomfortable and in desperation, he tried this move that is f3, which turns out is a big time blunder. Before I move on, I like you to pause this video and find out what is the winning continuation for the black. I hope you find this wonderful move. 
Bam! Poor white king. <laughs> well, white doesn't have any choice. White has to capture this rook. But then comes the very simple sequence that is queen check, king to g1, queen check, king to f1, and queen h1 as a checkmate. So it is very obvious that white cannot casually castle at this position, but he has to play knight to e5, which is in fact the main line in this position. Here black should immediately capture this knight, and now it doesn't matter how white is going to recapture. For example, if your opponent plays bishop captures e5, then the simplest is you take this bishop, and after pawn captures and knight to d7, we almost reach the same trappy position. The main move in this position is d captures e5. Afterwards, black should play the move knight to d7, attacking e5. And now there are two ways you can support this e5 square. When I was checking this position in the online database, I found out this interesting scenario where knight to f3 in this position has been played 19 times and f4 has been played 19 times and both in 2016. But let me tell you one thing, one of them is a right move and another one leads to the trap. So the big question is, if you are in this position as a white, how you are going to continue? Okay, I hope you didn't consider the move f4 because this leads to the blunder house and exactly what black wants. I just like to briefly mention that if white plays moves such as knight to f3 or queen to b1, then I have attached a sample line which is available in the description which will give you a very good idea how black should continue from here onwards. Okay, so let's see what's wrong with the move f4. After all, it looks very natural. It's supporting the center and what can be the wrong? Well, the problem can be highlighted by black's next two move. First, c4, hitting the bishop. Doesn't matter that bishop goes. In this game, white plays bishop to c2. And now, can you see it? Yup, it's queen to b6, attacking two spots. And funny enough, white cannot defend both of them. So just within 12 moves, black is going to win an important pawn and that is more than enough to decide the game. Let's see a few moves further which will show you how white position completely crumble after losing an important pawn. The best move in this position is castle on the king side. Afterwards, it's worth to remember that never take e3 pawn but always take the b2 pawn as this is the only pawn grabbing move which gives black an advantage. In fact, the trap doesn't stop over here. If white doesn't continue with the careful moves, then game can be finished very, very quickly. I reached this position in a rapid game against a 2200 rated player where my opponent continued with the move rook to c1. So his idea is if black foolishly captured the c3 pawn, then bishop to h7 and white nabbed the black queen. So obviously, I didn't fall for that cheapo. I played a stronger move that is g6. So not only stopping the bishop check, but I'm also stopping further advancement of that f pawn. My opponent continued with the move e4, so he desperately want to attack my pawn chain. The correct continuation over here is knight to b6. And now my opponent responded with the move a4. So his idea is very simple. He just want to attack my knight and then pressurizing the d5 square. Here I responded with the move d4, attacking the c3 and blunting the diagonal of that bishop. Now if my opponent responded with the move a5, then after d capture c3, black obtained a very good position. So in the game, he decided to capture this d pawn and after I captured with my knight, now he responded with the move a5. So at first sight, this looks very threatening because 
white is attacking our knight but in fact white has overlooked an important tactic in the position which we are about to see before i move on i like you to pause this video and find out an amazing resource which gives black a winning advantage okay i hope you find this wonderful blow boom <laughs> So not only black is grabbing the whole rook, but black is also threatening the c2 bishop. So white response is forced, white has to take this queen. But after that, with this jack, not only black regain his queen, but black obtain a clear winning advantage. My opponent played a captures b6, but after knight to d3, he simply resigned. Because if you carefully look at this position, black is up an exchange and a pawn and white doesn't have any clear cut compensation. Well, I hope you enjoy and learn this wonderful trap against London system. Remember at this position, f4 is a big time blunder due to the move c4 and q into b6, which will not only give black a clear cut pawn, but if white doesn't play accurate moves, then as we seen in my game, black can quickly round up a full point. Well, thank you for watching this video. Feel free to like, subscribe and comment on my video and I'll meet you in my next episode very soon. Bye and take care. One of my opponent play here, Bishop uh, D7 and this is a big blunder. I wonder if you can spot an uh, amazing move over here. This trap has been occurred 116 times where black players average ELO is more than 2300. Very surprising, but it is true.